hello day 14 people day 14 of vlogmas it's actually christmas next week oh panic everybody panic we spent a bit of time last night wrapping presents up and i actually did have a cheeky half hour on my zadie so i'll show you that some of that later because i'm running a little bit late for work this morning so i need to crack on um but i just want to say thank you for all the comments from my video yesterday you all seem very amused with my beautiful cushion from my son um so yeah i think that gave everybody a bit of a laugh i've got over the mortification of it all now i'm like okay fair enough i'm sure the teachers see a lot worse <laughs> so you'll be able to hear my cat meowing out it's because my husband has not fed her yet my boy cat just sits really quietly really patiently and my girl cat's like feed me now she's literally like me <laughs> but in cat form <laughs> so i'm gonna quickly pop on show you my calendars and then i'm gonna have to rush to work so it's gonna be a boring day today people i'm sorry but here we go beyond the pink door well, it's not gonna be a boring day do you know why it's not gonna be a boring day because me tamlin and rachel this morning have said that we can all zoom tonight we're all free tonight so that's brilliant looking forward to that right number 14 mm. Mm. nope no idea Look at those little baubles and a stocking on there, look so cute. Right. Let's do this. Oh, <laughs> it's a button maker. Now I've actually got one of these somewhere and they are absolutely brilliant. So I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but basically you have different button sizes and you do your fabric, do your fabric, cut your fabric out, pop it over the button and then you just pop them in. It's really clever. It's a really clever thing to do. But do you know what? I think I'm going to, I've already got one of these. So I'm looking up there to see if I can see it. I need to just double check that I have still got it. If I have still got it, which I'm sure I have, I'm going to keep this and maybe gift that to somebody else because they are a fantastic contraption and they're worth quite a bit of money then. So thank you, Andrea. They are absolutely bomb on. If you haven't seen one of these before, a button maker, do go and have a look because this is a hemline one. I think there's different people that do different ones, but it is really clever and it does work. It takes a bit of practice, but it does work. Right. And then on to first with fabrics. Let's have a look. 14. Oh, feels like that. Yeah, feels like fabric. <gasps> oh, now that is pretty. Look at that. Oh, so we've got this one that we had earlier in the calendar, which is stunning. And this one as well. Oh, that is really weird. I wonder how much we've got of this because that rice maker that I wanted to make, I don't think I'll have enough of this, but... I love that. That is beautiful. You see the gold? It's so soft as well. It's really good quality stuff. It's good stuff, man. That is beautiful. Absolutely love that. Oh, lovely. So that's me done. I'm off to work. I'm off to work. Husband's doing the ch children today. And yeah, I might try and do a little bit of my Zadie while I'm Zooming with the girls tonight. So... I won't show you probably any of that until tomorrow, but I'll quickly show you when I get home from work what I've done so far. It's not a lot, but you know, you can see it forming. Um, I keep forgetting to tell you what I was wearing, what I've been wearing. I don't think I've worn anything me made the last couple of days. I'm doing a repeat of last week. <laughs> so I've got my Freya top on and my cardigan, both with fabrics from Beyond the Pink Door, because I just love them. And they're, I think because they're long sleeved as well for in my office, which is freezing cold every, every morning, it's perfect for a nice snuggle up. So yeah, I'll catch it up again with you later. Bye. Hi, I am back from work. What time is it? It's just after five o'clock and I'm home and it is freezing out there. It was minus four on the way to work this morning. So mum's on holiday in Tenerife and she was sending me pictures of this beautiful sunrise and uh, the beach. And I was sending her pictures of my thermometer <laughs> on my car. Ah, exciting stuff. Anywho. Um, yeah, it's been a boring day today. I haven't done anything exciting whatsoever. So, uh, like I said to you this morning, though, the one nice thing is that I've got to, I've got a uh, Zoom call planned with my gorgeous girls this evening. So that'll be lovely. Um, but I thought I'd quickly show you because I know I said that I would show you where I've got to so far. So here it is. This is the Zadie and that stunning fabric from Beyond the, I mean, could we get any more Beyond the Pink Door fabric in this? 
in this screenshot really <laughs> anywho um yeah i've literally just done the side seams done the darts in the front and the back and stay stitched all around the neckline that's it i did actually cut sleeves out for this pattern i don't really know why i did that because i wasn't really planning on having sleeves i thought with short sleeves i could get away with it probably in the summer as well because it is floral um and i'm not a massive fan of the longer sleeves on this one so i'm really pleased with how it is so far it's a lot thinner fabric than the last one because the last one was like a viscose twill this is um quite a a up a up another ginger cat just walked in hello there how are you oh really okay um, but yeah, I'm really happy with going, how it's going so far, but I'm having to be really careful with it because obviously it's a black background, but obviously it's not black all the way through. So I'm using a Microtex needle, a really thin one, and which is doing really well. And the only thing I've done wrong so far is when I was overlocking the seams, on the side seams you have to overlock them separately, the seams, rather than together so that you can split them and lay them flat because you're then going to put the belt through it and things like that so I thought I'd do I'd do as I told rather than um overlock it all together and then iron it one way so I did that but then my overlock had caught a tiny tiny bit of the fabric so I had to, had to unpick it but it pulled a teeny tiny bit you would not that you would see I mean is it on this side no it's, on this. it's literally minute but I know it's there there's a teeny tiny little Nick there, you won't be able to even see it and it's under the armpit, but you know when you know, you know when you know. So anyway, yes, yeah, so I've got a call with the girls this evening. Um, so I'm going to try and make a little bit more of that. Um, Jack has had his Christmas party today. He said it was excellent, except they chose Home Alone as the film they were to watch and we watched it on Friday. <laughs> I think that's punishment for him making a wine glass cushion for me though, to be fair. <laughs> Um, quite a few people have said that they would really like the microwave pack. So I may have time to do that tomorrow lunch, but I'm not 100% sure. If not, I'm going to get that done Friday, hopefully. So that will be up soon. I've never made it before, by the way, myself. So it will be a new thing to me as well. So look at me doing a tutorial on something I've never even made before. It's worth a try though, isn't it? Um, yeah, so I'm hoping, what have we got? What's next on the agenda for the Zadie. I can't remember. It's a while since I've made it. Um, so now I'm moving on to the legs. That's it. So I have to do a little bit with the side bodice where the belt loop is going to go. Not the belt loop. There's like a hole where the belt goes through. You need to just stabilise that. So I've got that to do next. And then it's a case of doing the legs with the button, with the buttons, with the pocket bags. Um, so I'm hoping by the end of tonight, I can have done the side bit, done the pleats in the legs, put the pocket bags in and constructed the legs. That's my aim, I think. And then after that, it's a case of having to do all of the faffy binding. Faffy, technical term, the faffy binding. Um, and obviously it's a really thin fabric. Now I have got, I wonder if I've got it here that I could show you, where is that? Let me see if I can find it. I'm off the camera again, aren't I? I am here, look. I'm here. I have some boxes down here. Ah, oh, there it is. And I've seen Rachel from Stitch Truck use it, and loads of people have said to use it, and I've never used it. How many times can I say use it? But I have some. And that, I don't know why it's got this weird cellophane wrapper on it. I'm a massive fan of Dr. Beckman because I have cats. And anybody who has cats know they throw up a lot for some unknown reason. Especially when they're a bit older and they get. Oh, balls, I can't get it off. Anyway, I bought this ages ago. I'm just scared to use it. Petrified to use it. Spray starch. <laughs> I don't know why. But I have seen Rachel doing her binding with um, lighter fabrics and using the spray starch. So I think I'm going to give that a go and do the binding with that one now um, when I get round to it. That won't be today because I'm hoping to just get all the legs constructed tonight. Um, but yeah, it basically says directions for use, shape the can and then spray evenly onto the fabric from about 20 centimetres, tilting the can as little as possible. Then using a clean iron, iron as usual at the correct temperature for the garment. Repeat above process if more crispness is required. What can go wrong? What 
can go wrong. Help. So if anybody's got any advice on using spray starch, let me know down below because I'm just going to give it a go. There's no point having it there and saying you're going to try new things, Rowan, and then it just sitting there for... Oh, it's all right. I thought it was my husband shouting up to me, but he's not. I was just shouting at the kids. Not at the kids, <laughs> with the kids. So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do tonight. So maybe tomorrow I'll be able to show you that I've got some legs. They won't be attached, though, so that might be quite hard. I mean, I have legs. I meant legs of my pattern. Obviously, I've got legs. Um, but I think that's it. I'm actually going to sign off for now. I know it's only a really short one today and it was a bit boring. Um, but, you know, work day. What more can I tell you? Um, tomorrow is going to be very much the same until lunchtime. And then I think I might have mentioned this before, but I'm granddad sitting tomorrow. So he's been at my uncle's while my mum's been away. He's coming back um, just after lunchtime. Um, because my uncle's got plans this evening um but my mum does not land until 7 p.m so i am going to go around there and sit and chill with him and maybe watch a movie so i need to also think about some things that i can take over there with me tomorrow because i don't like to just sit and do nothing and i haven't started my new cross stitch so i might maybe start my new cross stitch i haven't got any other kind of jobs i've done my christmas cards i've done everything else that i could do while i'm over there so i might just take my um Thing over there and do that why not so tomorrow might be another quick one as well i do apologize but i'll try and make up for it on friday maybe when i think it'd be friday when i get to do this i just keep holding up a packet of rice don't i <laughs> here you go a packet of rice um but yeah i'm gonna try and do that maybe friday let's say i'm just talking out loud have you noticed i am not planning a thing i don't know what i'm doing but yeah i will try and do that i think on friday so i hope everybody's all right I hope everybody's not panicking you know because it's not long till christmas by the way um, and I'll catch up with you again tomorrow. Bye.